Hey everyone, Sam here at Model Chili Scale Models, back with some Bandai Space Battleship Yamato, or Star Blazers. And in this case, this is a, a five Space Battleship set of the Andromeda class battleship. So we've got the Aldebaran, the Apollo Norm, Andromeda, Antares, and Achilles. And the Antares and Apollo Norm are the aircraft carrier variants there. And they come with this spacey themed display base so you can set up the fleet there right so let's have a look inside the box all right so everything's still in the bags but looks like there's just one ship for this bag and a set of decals for all of the five ships and this bag has Screws for two ships, so one there and one on the back. They're moulded in different colours, so you could get away with not painting them, but I'm definitely going to paint these up. And another bag with a couple of ships in there, grey one and a blue one. Bag for the display stands. Parts for the aircraft carrier variants. The display base with this really lovely glittery star pattern. Pretty sure that's moulded into the plastic. So that's going to look quite cool. More parts for the display base. And finally the instruction sheet. So we've got the standard battleship version and the aircraft carrier variant there. Not really much of a painting guide. I think I'll just be following the box art for that. All right, so let's get started. Right, so the plan is, since each ship is relatively small and quite self-contained, I'm going to remove all of the parts, then construct each ship, and then I'll move on to painting. You know, I don't think I'll ever not appreciate how easily and quickly Bandai parts are to clean up. I mean, I'm just clipping off the sprue gates. 
little bits that are left behind. So there's no sanding needed, no flesh to remove. And the plastic just breaks off so easily. It doesn't leave a mess behind or any pits or holes. It doesn't crush like some other soft plastic. They just make building these such a such an easy and simple job. All you need is just a good pair of side cutters. And these Tamiya pointed side cutters have lasted me probably a good seven years at this point. And they're still cutting really nice. I mean, these aren't cheap. You can definitely get much cheaper ones, but they certainly last and do a good job.
All right, so that's the entire reeds done, and it's gone together really well. There's not really any noticeable gaps I can see. There is, of course, little micro gaps between some of these joins, but that's just part of the um, the push together process that Bandai uses. So no glue has been used; everything's just pushed together. So you will always end up with just tiny little gaps there, but by and large they're pretty invisible. And um, I'm having to be really careful handling this because a lot of these spindly pylons or these spikes, they uh, they feel quite fragile and brittle. So I really don't want to be dropping this or mishandling it because it feels like they could easily snap off. But it just goes to show how some of the really fine and precise moulding that Bandai can pull off, especially with these guns and these pylons. But, um, it just makes a really nice in-scale build, especially at the small scale. They're still really thin and don't um, look out of place. So that's really cool. Alright, so on to the next one. And now they're ready for priming, and I'm going to use Vallejo Surface Primer Black. So that'll serve as a primer and a black undercoat to help with pre-shading. And so I'll just spray that from the airbrush. Okay, so for the light grey ships, the Andromeda, Achilles and Antares, I'm going to paint those with Vallejo Model of Light Blue Grey, 71257.
And now for the dark blue, I'm using Vallejo Model Air French Blue 71088. Alright, so that's all of the ships painted, and now with the base coat down I want to start doing some detail painting, but first I'm going to seal in the base coat with some Tamiya TS13 Clear from a can. Now to start off the detail painting I'm going to paint all of the engine cowlings and this middle section of the carrier variants with some Vallejo Model Air Black Grey. Now for the light grey highlights around the ship, I'm going to use Citadel Colour Base Wraithbone. So if you saw I've painted a, an off-white stripe down the centre, just using the uh, the wraith bone as before, and being hand-painted it's a little bit sloppy here and there, so I'm just going to tidy up the lines with a bit of Citadel McCrag blue, which is not 100% match to this blue base coat, but it uh, has nice coverage and it's close enough it'll just look like a little bit of panelling.
And for some of the uh, dark grey details, I'm going to use a model colour version of the black grey colour. Now for the gun deck area of the Andromeda and Achilles, we're going to paint that with Citadel Sandry Dust. For the dark grey sections, using Citadel colour, Mechanicus Standard Grey. And now for the red highlights, I'm going to use Citadel Base Mephiston Red. Now just using a bit of acrylic thinner to clean up some of that paint. Alright, so that's all of the major detail painting complete, and I'm going to seal that in with another uh, thin coat of Tamiya Clear, and then they'll be ready for decals. Alright, so moving on with the decals, I'm going to start with the Andromeda, which is this corner here, and I think there are quite a few spares that I'm not going to need, so I'll just uh, pick out the main ones and then using a little bit of Microsole. To help those decals settle and it should be a fairly quick job Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, so with the decals down, the next step is to apply a pin wash. And I'm going to use Vallejo Model Wash Blue Grey, which should hopefully complement the light bluish grey of the base coat. And this is to bring out all of the really nice fine panelling details that are all over the ship and hopefully make it look a lot more detailed. And so I'm just going to stay within all of the lines. I'm not trying to be too accurate about it, because one of the um, advantages of putting down a clear coat from the can is that I can um, clean all of this away with a bit of acrylic thinner and just leave it in the uh, recessed line to tidy it up a bit. But just laying this all over the entire ship would just be too much work to clean up. So I'm just going to stick to all of the details. Now for the blue Elderbaran and Apollo Norm, obviously the lighter blue wash isn't going to work, so I'm going to use Vallejo Model Wash, the straight black for this one.
All right, so I've ended up with some rather dirty looking ships. And so now what I'm going to do is use a cotton swab with a bit of acrylic thinner on it to wipe away the excess wash that's all over the ship. And uh, these pointed cotton swabs work really well for this job. They can get into nice tight corners. But um, these are getting a bit harder to find these days. I can really only find them from one particular supermarket. So um, yeah, I'm sure you can find them online somewhere, but they're not that easy to find in the shops. But uh, so I grab them wherever I can, whenever I see them. But they hold their shape quite well, especially when doing this sort of work. So I'm just kind of rubbing off. of this wash that I don't want and it's good to wait until this is fairly set in place so you don't end up wiping it out of the recesses but I may need to go over some parts again so you've been top of that sort of finish, which is a lot cleaner, but still retains the detail that's been brought out by the wash. And so this is how the black wash looks on the blue ships, but again it's just the same job. I think this is going to be a little bit more messy and a little bit more work. But still needs to be done. It's kind of hard to see with all the clear coat reflecting so much of the light, but once the flat coat goes down, this is going to look much more toned down and a bit more to scale. So it kind of looks a bit, a bit, um, a bit much at the moment, but it's going to get better. And now with the pin wash all cleaned up, I'm just going to apply a few last details, such as painting the interior of the wave motion gun. And for that, I'm going to use Citadel Color Base Evelyn Sunset.
Yeah, so it was quite difficult to get a nice yellow circle in that deep recess. So I just went back over with the red to clean them up. And so they're now more or less a lot more tidy. And so the final detail now is to paint a little bit of green over the uh, bridge window details. And that's going to be Vallejo Game Air Escorpina Green. And now that everything's painted and finished, it's time to do a final flat coat of Tamiya's Flat Clear TS80 from Spray Can. And now with the flat coat down, it's time to put them all on their stands and finally onto the display base. But first I just thought I'd quickly have a look at each ship. And uh, this is an order of construction, so this is the Andromeda the AAA-1 serial number. There. And this is the only ship that doesn't have the uh, the white grey stripe down the side. And AAA two, the Aldebaran. There. So these are the battleship versions, and then the carrier variant. AAA three, Apollo Norm. There, with the car the carrier deck at the top. And then AAA4, the Achilles. They're pretty much the same as the Andromeda, just with the stripe down the side. And finally, AAA5, Antares, the carrier variant. There. And I was just going off the um the photos on the box as to what the colours should be, so just the um Andromeda and the Achilles have the, the tan coloured deck there, whereas the other ones have the dark grey. And also the little winglets on the front of the ship for the interiors and the two blue ones, that's the white grey, whereas the other two were just the base coat. And yeah, so uh, pretty happy with how they've come out. They've had multiple coats of the flat clear, so that, I think that's as flat as it's going to get. There's still a little bit of a shine to it, but uh, that's fine. It's just a nice little satin type finish. And uh, yeah, so now it's time to put it all together. And there they are, finally on the base, and finally sorted out the order, but yeah, it's looking uh, fantastic, and I'm really happy with how this has come out. It's a really nice little display piece, it really shows the differences between the various ships, 
And uh, yeah, it's uh, be a nice addition to my Space Battleship Yamato collection. And so I hope you've enjoyed watching the build. And if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer each and every one. And thanks for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a great Christmas and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.